In the beginning of Design to Learn, we just pulled three strangers together. Literally, that's what we did. But we gave them that workshop, that summer institute, where they're able to spend five days together for, like, what, six hours to eight hours every single day. And they were able to build that relationship where they, they were forced to work together, but then learn each other's strengths and weaknesses. And then throughout co-planning and co-facilitating, they were really able to grow as a unit. One of the keys to successful collaboration is building a foundation of mutual respect between certified teachers and community educators. Uh, that relationship is really the crux of what makes the whole program work. So it's really important to set aside time at the beginning of the program for the certified teachers and the community educators to get to know one another really well so that they have faith and trust when, to know in an activity when it's time for them to step up and when it's time for them to step back. You know, they bring in the experience from working after school in the informal classroom setting and I bring in experience as a classroom teacher that like and my content knowledge. So I think that is a very good combination. Some of the strategies that we've used to work really well in collaborating is we make the effort to meet uh, every Monday um, just to kind of bounce ideas and look at materials and nothing is unapproachable. The way it works is me and my fellow group leader, we kind of focus on how to get the uh, kids engaged in the activity and the teacher, she focuses on the educational aspect because that's where her expertise is and together it works great because when she's doing her teaching thing, we're like keeping them engaged with like icebreakers and we're making it as much fun for them as possible because they go through a whole school day before we get to them and I, they don't want to be lectured anymore. High five, high five, Woo! that's what we need engineer. We also have a different roles, so I'm the handouts everything, worksheets, everything, and Mr. Kaz is called the material. Yeah. He, he collects the material, so we, we, we see what we need, and he just makes sure we have it, or now he gets it. Um, so like that we're not scrambling, like, oh, I get this, you get that. A strategy that really works well um, when it comes to collaboration with the team is to create the design challenge beforehand, just to make sure that the students will make those connections. We want to come across as authentic as possible. If we're not invested, they're not invested.